everyone. So there is a funny story with today's video. So I went away for the weekend to stay with some friends and I went into their local Pets at Home branch which is much bigger and better than mine. So I went to have a look around and I started filming a little bit and thought maybe I would do a follow me around Pets at Home because they've got all of their Christmas stock in now so there's some lovely Christmas things. I did pick up a couple of bits as well which I will show at the end of this video if there's time. So I started looking around, I always look at what animals they've got in um, but as you know I, I try not to buy animals from sort of pet shops unless it's from the adoption section just because of sort of the way they're mass produced and I've got other videos about that so I'm not going to bore you with that but I do love the adoption section because these are animals that either have had a problem so they can't sell as sort of normal stock if you like or they've been returned by the owners or for whatever reason they're in the adoption section which is a separate part it's the money raised goes towards support adoption for pets um, it is done on a sort of a donation basis as well so sort of bonus they're a little bit cheaper than the normal pets um, that you can get in pets at home as well but I was having a look in the adoption section and as you know I've been talking about getting a new hamster for a little while and I have been sort of slowly picking up bits sort of ready for when I get a hamster in all honesty I thought I was going to wait until after Christmas because a lot of parents will buy their kids hamsters for Christmas and then sort of a couple of months later when the parents left cleaning out the animal and the kids have lost interest that's when they sort of tend to come up for adoption so that's sort of when I was planning on getting a hamster in the back of my mind but I did look in the adoption section there was quite a few hamsters there was a dwarf there was I think three Syrians and I was sort of having a little nosy and then this little pale hamster popped her head out and I just thought she was the most adorable thing ever. So we did ask someone if we could have a closer look at her, which is always dangerous. That basically means I'm bringing the animal home. She was a little bit on the feisty side. The woman had said that I think she'd had, she'd been fighting with the other hamsters, obviously, because Syrians are solitary animals. So when they reach a certain age, they will fight with their cage mates. Um, and pets at home do tend to keep quite a lot of fairly large Syrians in together. So she does have a little scar on her nose, but she'd been fighting, so obviously she'd had to be separated. And I think she'd just been in sort of the back or the adoption section the whole time. I don't think she'd actually been returned. She was not, she's not tame at all. Um, the woman was sort of explaining that obviously because they've got so many animals, they don't have that much time to spend one on one with the animals which I do appreciate. So when she was sort of holding her, she did bite her. Um, so she put her down and then she had to pick her up again because before pets at home will um, let you go home with an animal, they have to go through and do a health check to sort of show you that they're healthy, I suppose, and give you a couple of tips on how to give your animal a health check, which I do think is really valuable. But with a very stressed animal who's not used to being handled, sort of trying to pry open their mouth to show you their teeth they're not going to like it very much so she did bite the lady again sort of both times she drew blood but this time this poor lady uh, was bleeding everywhere it was dripping on the floor it was so that was a bit of a disaster so because we had a couple of hours in the car obviously we weren't expecting to get this hamster otherwise we would have obviously looked around a bit closer to home I don't like taking animals on long journeys it can really stress them out and rather than we would have had to buy a sturdy carrier because the boxes they give you to take animals away in are just cardboard and they're quite thin and I think to be honest she would have chewed out of it in within 10 minutes and then she would have been loose in the car which obviously wasn't a good idea so we were looking at getting a sort of plastic carrier for her just to take in the journey but they were quite expensive so then we were looking at their sort of cages they had so we thought rather than getting a carrier maybe we'll look at getting a travel cage because it's not often I need to transport hamsters in carriers so we thought something like a travel cage would be a lot more useful especially if someone has to pet sit her 
and they can't come to my house. If she's got sort of a smaller cage that's easier to transport, then I could take her in that to whoever. So we thought that would sort of be the best use of our money. And we did find this cage, which is actually a decent size, especially considering the sizes of cages that you can buy in pet shops. It is a decent size. I wouldn't want it to be a forever home, but I think as sort of a travel cage, I think it's fine. So we did buy this for her to go straight into for the car ride. And we put in some of her bedding that she already had, which was sawdust, which I will be switching her off. But obviously it had her scent on and so it would make her feel a little bit more comfortable. I also put in some nesting material so she could build a bit of a nest and feel a little bit more comfortable that way. She had a house, a water bottle and we didn't put in the second level or the wheel or anything like that. I didn't want her climbing all over the cage. I didn't really want to encourage that because sort of the more she climbs around the more she could get hurt so I, I just wanted her to sort of build a nest and go to sleep which she did so as we sort of put her in the car we remembered that my favourite ever cage that I've kept hamsters in which was the IKEA Detol we took it to the dump along with the mesh top that we made for it which is really annoying <laughs> so we did decide that we would swing into IKEA to get one <laughs> So this has been a very expensive day for a hamster, but I do feel like this, this cage will be a really good investment. It's like I say, it's the most favorite one I've ever had a hamster in. I do really like them. You can put deep bedding. It gives them an opportunity to dig. There's a lot of floor space. It's just so versatile. So I am really happy that we've picked that up. I haven't unboxed it yet. I'm gonna put it together now and hopefully it's not broken because we live fairly far away from Ikea. It's probably a couple of hours, maybe an hour and a half drive to our nearest Ikea. So I hope this has not broken. And obviously I had to ride on the trolley. <laughs> and then this um, older lady came along and gave me a very stern look. And then I felt really silly, but I think you've got to. And then I turned the corner and someone else was riding on their trolley, so I felt a lot better about my life. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself as well because we were so restrained in Ikea, because obviously we had the hamster waiting in the car, so I didn't want to go through the whole showroom. And Ikea does have this clever way of taking you past every single item that they sell. So we did sort of sneak in the out and just go straight into the warehouse. We find this computer that sort of told us the location of where it was stored and then we went to get it and then we headed off. So don't feel like we left her in the car for hours, which normally I'm obsessed with Ikea and I would love to spend hours in there, but she was the priority. So we were in and out. I also spent the whole car ride home like this. So that is the story of how we brought our new hamster home. So if you'd like to see me building and setting up her new enclosure, then keep an eye out for my next couple of videos. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and the notification bell to get notified when I upload. And those are videos that I'm planning very soon. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any name suggestions for this new hamster, then leave them down below. Her adoption name is Sandy. But I have had that song from Greece stuck in my head ever since we saw her name. So I do need to change her name or that will be replaying in my mind for the rest of her life. So if you've got any name suggestions then leave them below. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Um, so here's Blue waiting outside the window. Hi! As you can see he's got a lot tamer. Hi little blue. Do you want some food? Look at this llama. Is that your food? I was gonna take it out to you, but okay. What's this? Don't you spit at me, that's naughty.
and he nearly spat at me. This is the strangest experience of my life. Hi. Casually feeding a llama out of the window. Hello, beautiful boy. You're looking a bit wet. You've been standing in the rain. Uh-oh. I said that was going to happen, didn't I? I'll come out and fix it for you. Have you chewed another hole in your hay net? Mm-hmm. 